We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up EDU. We are on a 12 month time frame. Price action last came to the right hand side of the bullish green candle, still active, trying to engulf the second last candle bullish green doji. We do have price action overall, higher highs, price action overall, lower lows, adding the midpoint. Also adding second level lows, third level lows, and fourth level lows. Current price is sitting at 42.64. So if price work is way up, it headed to the white resistance line sitting at 54.48. Before tagging that area, you can tag the midpoint nearing the numbers of 47.59. If price reverses and drops down towards the support line, it can tag that line at 33.81. And before tagging that line, it can tag the midpoint within that area, which would be at 39.11. <coughs> Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So if price action push, push it up in this area, it's coming from a pattern. So price action, first candle in the market is a bullish green candle, very small. It started off at the lower lows of support, consolidated with some type of pattern down there before pushing up. So if we think about drawing an imaginary line coming down from that area to spike that market back up, as we can see, market will be coming down for first leg, second leg, first leg, second leg, third leg, Fourth leg, retest, market pushed up once, retest, market pushed up twice, retest, market pushed up a third time, lost momentum at the high with the third to last candle, came back to retest that overall support of the pattern that was formed. So we have one, two, three, four, so we have a quadruple bottom, and then market came back to retest that quadruple bottom with the third to last candle, and now it became five pushes towards that bottom, four on the left side, one on the right, and that creates the five pushes down to that bottom, and then market's trying to push and break out from that area. But overall, so we'll be reading, <clears throat> what the market's trying to do is come from that, once again, first, second, third, fourth, excuse me, first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two, full break of the quadruple bottom, Market came back to retest, and we look for that market to push off. If price drops down from this area, where is it coming from? The spike up to the high, as I said before, with the second last candle identifying, it may be a reversal in the market, and it did drop down with the bearish red candle. So we can read this in different angles. So starting at the high, it is reading as the third to last candle, fourth to last candle is being a double top, so market spiked up once, market spiked up twice, so it's a double top in this area here, we'll identify, we'll identify that as we walk down, market broke, came back to retest, so that it's trying to retest, we don't know how far it's going to draw back to retest if it does drop down, it can retest up to the midpoint, find that pattern, and then drop down further from a double, double top and retest, but we can see price action didn't even make it through second level lows yet, and it's near that area. So if we put a zone around it, it's touching in a way. Walking down to the six month time frame, price acting six month time frame is reading as a bullish green candle, engulfing the second last candle. So let's take a look at what's going on. The fourth to last candle spiked the low, second last candle came back to retest the fourth to last candle. And then price action really is just consolidation because it's still within the second last candle body uh, wick, body and wick, primarily the wick. So we're looking for that breakout of that wick in that area, and we can see it sitting on that midpoint of that area. So as we're walking down the time frame, we will be looking for a break and retest to see if that market push up. If so, market's coming from that pattern of that first, second, third. So price action will be a retest followed up with the bullish green candle. 
it can stop right here and still follow up with another bullish green candle, the next candle, or we'll see a break and retest as we walk down that time frame. But we're looking for that W formation incline. Working our way to a three month time frame. So, price action, three month time frame, bullish green candle still coming off the retest. Second last candle being a spike up to that high. So, we can see that patterns being formed at that low. Price, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and last candle is a push down. So, that will identify it as the first leg, second leg, third leg, and market push up from that W formation with the break with the second last candle. Price action did retest and still active and it did push up a little bit. So we should be looking for and seeing that double bottom of the retest as we walk down this time frame. Walking down to the monthly. So price action on the monthly is a bullish green candle did break the second, uh, fourth level lows. So we can see that pattern of that W, but it also looked like a head and shoulders pattern. So let's talk about it. So if we see it as a head and shoulders pattern, we'll see that left shoulder. So it's like a double left shoulder, there's a head, and there's a single right shoulder, and market spiked up from that head and shoulders pattern. So we're looking for that break and retest on this opposite side. It may identify as we walk down the time frame because of price and second last candle. And if we can see it as a W still, because if you look at the major spike down to that support with green and red, we do have that first leg, second leg, third leg, market pushed and broke out with the fourth leg. This is why we're looking for the retest to see if that market is going to push up further or a market just may identify as a huge bullish green candle or a bullish green candle to follow up with the next candle or this active candle right now to push up for that fourth leg to head to second level lows. We're gonna wait to the weekly. Price action on the weekly time frame is reading as a bullish green candle. What are we receiving? We have the price identifying the break and the retest. So going backwards a little bit, let's take a look at what's going on. We can see we have that major spike down for one touch, two touch, and this market for that break. So we do have that overall first, second, third, fourth. And we can see that the third to last candle is a retest and then price action pushed up. Did not break the previous side yet, or did it? Did not break the previous side of the fourth to last candle wick. The body, we look for that body to close against that fourth to last candle wick to show, identify that mark's gonna push up. Um, the fourth to last candle in the market also identifying it may be a reversal in the market for that drop down. So it did drop down to that low because because now the third third to last candle which being a huge doji identified a spike down to a low which pushed that market up. So market can be breaking this area. So we are looking for that break and retest as we walk further down the time frame. Price action daily time frame getting choppy. So we do know that on this side of the structure, we did receive that pattern of that W first, second, third, and market pushed up for that fourth. We do see the break and retest and market pushed up. So this is the break and retest area. Market broke, came back to retest, did receive the push, broke into the next resistance line, came back to retest and pushed above. So we are, do see that price action is working its way up. And we do have the engulfment to the uh, previous side, but price action reading as a bullish green doji. So it's identifying um, maybe a reversal or consolidation. This candle, this candle can create that double top and push that market back down. If it follows up the bearish red candle, the price is called working, way, working its way down through that support. So we'll look at something like this. If that market drops down for that first, second, third, and we see that fourth leg, it may receive a break and retest before that market creates that M pattern. If it breaks back through, then we look for the break and retest in that part market probably will drop down further. But overall, this market is in an area of consolidation for that break and retest. Working our way to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame near the midpoint, adding the SR line right in the middle, going across and let's take a look at what's going on. It's going to say it's going to read the same thing we just talked about. So adding the zone, adding the SR line, adding the zone around the SR line, and let's take a look at what's happening. We can see that price did what? Spike the zone, first leg, second leg, third leg. We're still looking for that market to do what it do. And we can see that price action into that zone. So that means we're looking for that market to break out that zone for a break and retest for that market to push up further unless it consolidates within that zone or drop down. And we'll see that M pattern if it engulfs through that third last candle break that support. Okay, guys, important information. Please review. Forex pattern cheat sheet, break on retest, click on images. Okay guys, EDU, stock.